Howdy folks, welcome back to Boondockery. This video is going to be a little long-winded, but by the time we get to the end of the video, you're going to see exactly why I had to talk so much about this particular subject. Several months ago, I posted a video review of the Solo Titan and the Solo Light wood gasification stoves. When I shot the video, I believed that the Solo stove products were actually manufactured in Texas. I was wrong. Recently, I received a comment from a subscriber that was enlightening to say the least. The subscriber informed me that Solo stoves are not manufactured in Texas. However, they're manufactured in China. I did a little research and lo and behold, I found out that that claim was substantiated and Solo stove products are manufactured in China. As I continue, just sort of stick that in the back of your mind, let that sort of sink in because I am going to be coming back to this. Another subscriber posted a comment to the same thread and he basically stated that he preferred the Bush Buddy stove to the Solo stove. In the back of my mind, for some reason, I was thinking the Bush Buddy was a folding twig stove. Again, I was wrong. So I did a Google. I did a quick search and within a minute, I received a very healthy education. That education led me to reevaluate my opinions of the Solo Stove and the Solo Stove Company. Knowing full well that I did not have any of this information prior to producing my Solo Stove review, I felt obligated to share all these facts that I have gathered since then with you. Therefore, should you be considering purchasing a Solo Stove, you will be aware of all of the facts that I now have prior to making that purchase. Here are the facts as I know them. I will begin chronologically with the Bush Buddy. The Bush Buddy stove was invented and created by Fritz Handel in Canada in 1999. Every single one of the stoves he produced, he produced by hand. If by any chance you've never heard of Bush Buddy stoves or have never seen one, just take a look at my Solo Stove review. And when you look at the Solo Stove light, you're essentially looking at an exact copy of the Bush Buddy. In 2010, Fritz trained three individuals on how to manufacture the Bush Buddy stoves, and they produced those stoves under the name Nomadic Stove Company. Both Bush Buddy and the Nomadic Stove Company operated simultaneously, each with their own respective trademarks. They continued this until 2016, when Fritz Handel finally retired. The Nomadic Stove Company, with Fritz's permission and blessing, renamed their company Bush Buddy in honor of the man that created this wonderful gasification stove. Bush Buddy is now being manufactured in an off-grid factory in Alaska, each and every stove continually to be handcrafted. Solo Stove was founded in 2011, around 12 years after Fritz Handel created and began Bush Buddy. I don't know, but something sure smells fishy, and I don't think that it's solid fuel tabs. I'm going to go over some of the details of the Solo Stove and the Bush Buddy Stove. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Bush Buddy Stove. Bush Buddy stoves are handcrafted in Alaska in an off-grid facility. The basic stove set includes the stove and a 900 milliliter titanium pot. The price for the set is $100, which is approximately 72 pounds. Because they are all handmade, there is a lead time, and the lead time currently is 14 weeks. We're going to compare it with the Solo Stove Lite because it's virtually an exact copy of the Bush Buddy. It is mass produced in China. 
which will say everything <laughs> about the envi environmental um, <laughs> qualities of the manufacturing. The stove and 900 milliliter stainless steel pot can be purchased in a variety of sets. However, I did not see a set with just the stove and the cook pot. The stove by itself regularly sells for $89.99, which is approximately 65 pounds. The sale price, which is currently going on, is $64.99, which is approximately 47 pounds. The cook pot is regularly priced $49.99, which is approximately 36 pounds. And it's on sale for $34.99, which is approximately 20 Five pounds. The combined regular price of the two would be $139.98, which would be 101 pounds. The sale price for the two is $99.98, which would be 72 pounds. So the sale price of the solo stove is exactly two cents less than the regular price of the Bush Buddy. Since the Solo Stove is mass produced in plentiful numbers, you can receive them in just a few days by ordering them online. Those are the facts of these two stoves as I know them. Now, hopefully <laughs> you, you, you stuck a uh, little thought back in the back of your head a few minutes ago when I asked you to, because I'm going back to the subscriber that informed me that Solo Stove was made in China and not Texas. He also sent me a link to Ally Express to a product they call the Bonfire. When I looked at the pictures, I read the specifications, it was essentially the Solo Stove slash Bush Buddy. I'm just gonna go ahead and read off the specifications of the Bonfire wood gasification stove. It's stainless steel, exactly like the other two stoves. The diameter is 12.5 centimeters, which is 4.92 inches. The height is 18 centimeters, which is 7.09 inches, which you will see that this stove is sort of between the Solo Stove Light and the Solo Stove Titan in its size. The price will vary because multiple sellers sell the exact same product on Ally Express. I purchased mine um, a little over a month ago because it takes a while uh, to, to be shipped. I purchased mine. The stove plus shipping was a grand total of $19.00. 94 cents, which is approximately 14 pounds. Again, that's including shipping. The stove uh, comes with bare minimal. It has, it's a two part stove, just like the Solo stove and the Bush Buddy stove. And it comes with a nice mesh bag. The Bonfire does not come with a cook pot. However, there are multiple manufacturers readily available online. I saw several on Amazon that are 1600 milliliters that should nest the stove in the mesh bag very, very well. As of this moment, I do not own a Bush Buddy stove. However, I am going to show you the three stoves that I do have. This is the Solo Stove Light in its bag with the cook pot. This is the Ally Express Bonfire, just the stove and its storage bag. This is the Solo Stove Titan in storage bag with the cook pot. Here are the three stoves assembled. The Solo Stove Light, the Bonfire from Ally Express, and the Solo Stove Titan. By looking at these three stoves, there are only two differences between the design of the Solo Stove and the Ally Express Stove. I'll go over those in just a moment. By looking at these, the manufacturing processes are absolutely identical. The distance between all of the holes for ventilation and for gasification 
are identically spaced the same distance apart in ratio to the other uh, solo stoves. And I have had uh, conversations about the solo stove with several people. Some people, such as myself, felt that the solo stove light was just a little small for a lot of the things that I use a, a stove for. So I went up to the Titan. Some people complain that the Titan is too large. <laughs> this is the perfect medium between the two as far as the size and the weight goes. Let's go ahead and look at the two major differences between the solo stove and the bonfire. The first major difference is in the bottom of the stoves. The solo stove, again, absolutely identical to the Bush Buddy, how it's constructed, has stainless steel wires that go across the bottom to create a mesh to facilitate the ash to fall through and for the wood gas to be able to sink down to the bottom to do its wood gasification process. The bonfire from Ally Express has a stainless steel plate welded into position with numerous holes drilled in them or punched in them to facilitate the same thing. This major difference may very well affect the performance of the wood gasification process. However, by looking at the bottom here, if by any chance that were to be an issue, especially considering the price, I own a drill. I have a carbide tip drill bit and I can make as many additional holes in that stainless steel plate as I feel I need to in order to maximize that gasification. Other than size, the only other difference between these stoves is the top flanges. That's the uh, steel reinforced areas on the top portion of the stove that are bent over to facilitate a pot resting on top of it. These are simply rounded off to take the point off and folded over. Very basic. This, however, each one of the flanges have been turned in as opposed to over. They also have teeth cut into them so they are knurled. Whether or not that would be a benefit uh, to a slick bottom steel or titanium pot, I do not know. However, I do know that these are much more similar in their design to the Bush Buddy stove than are the Solo stove flanges. The only way to know if the Ally Express bonfire stove, that bottom plate that's ventilated on the interior, the only way to know if that's going to impede gasification is to give it a test burn. As you can see, the gasification for both stoves are working perfectly. By looking all the way around, it appears that all of the jets are actually firing. There's a couple over on this side of the solo stove that is not. I don't know what that's about, or at least I can't see that they are. But all the jets on both stoves appear to be functioning exactly the way a wood gasification stove is supposed to function. As you can see, the $10 stove performs every bit as well as the $90 stove. I can't see any difference in the effectiveness of the wood gasification between these two stoves. Both of them work excellent. Both of them, both of them are very well made. Both of them do the job of wood gasification beautifully. 
Folks, the Solo Stove Company is not doing anything that thousands upon thousands of companies do every single day. They purchase very inexpensive merchandise, sprinkle a little bit of magical merchandising pixie dust on it, and sell it at the maximum profit that they think they can make. As a matter of fact, a lot of companies actually mark the price up to the point to where they think it's reasonably expensive enough for the consumer to look at it and say, well, that one is a much lower price but that one there with the packaging and, and the way it looks and the price, well, if it, if it looks similar, but it's a higher price, better packaging, well, that has to be the better product. However, when the consumer sees that particular item on sale, they think, oh my gosh, that's like $30 less than what it regularly retails at. Oh, I better jump on this while the, while the sale's in effect. I've got to have this. However, even at rock bottom sale prices, the companies that are selling them are still making a massive profit. If you take a close look on Amazon for stainless steel or titanium products for bushcrafting, wild camping, backpacking, hiking, camp, you name it. Do a product search of something that's made of titanium or steel. And then you start scrolling down and you're looking at these products. Most of them will look absolutely identical. With the exception of maybe, let's say, a cook pot. May or may not have a certain type of graduation on the cook pot. Maybe it's embossed. Maybe it's photo etched. Maybe there's no graduations whatsoever. Maybe it has a special carrying pouch. Maybe it has a couple of other accessories to it. But essentially, they're identical. More often than not, those identically appearing products are made in China. They are probably even made in the same factory. They produce a product. The American made or the American brand purchases those products. Sometimes they'll put their logos on them. Sometimes that they'll request that a certain type of graduation is embossed or photo etched on it. Sometimes They'll combine those things with maybe a little titanium BRS stove, which if you look for the BRS stove, you're probably going to find about 10 or 12 different brands, different prices. They're probably all made in the same factory, and they're all made in China. The one huge difference you will often find in these products is every once in a while, you'll see one that has a very recognizable logo. And that product, even though it may be identical to another product, because of that brand identification and that logo, you're going to pay more for it. I'm not going to backpedal one step on the review that I did several months ago on the Solo Stove. It's an, it's an outstanding product. However, so is the bonfire from Ally Express. The Solo Stove is very obviously borrowed its design from Fritz Handel, which <laughs> I don't think is cool. Companies, when it comes to their products, can be very misleading. I was led to believe through what I had read and what I had seen that the Solo Stove was manufactured in Texas. Considering everything that I have learned since I posted the review video, I have shared all of that information with you. It leads me to the one big conclusion, and that is that if you are purchasing a product that you believe is manufactured in a particular area 
and you're paying that area's price, you don't think twice about it. However, when you buy something from a manufacturer like Bush Buddy that is uncategorically, you know, 100% made where it says it's made, exactly how it's said that it's made, and the fact that it is a self-sustaining factory, completely green, off-grid. Yeah, you think, okay, that's definitely w worth the price. But if you are buying a Chinese manufactured product at American-made prices, you're paying too much. In my humble opinion, considering what I've, I've tested, what I've learned, what I've researched, is that if you're going to purchase a Chinese-made product, you owe it to yourself to be purchasing it, purchasing it at a Chinese-made price. Knowing what I knew at the time, getting uh, the solo stoves that I purchased on sale, I thought was a fair price. However, looking at the Bush Buddy stove, knowing its history, knowing how it's manufactured, knowing, you know, th that it was an original design by Fritz, I definitely feel their asking price of $100 for the stove and a titanium cook pot is more than worth the price. Folks, when it gets down to it, my opinions are my own. If you agree with them, you agree with them. If you don't, you don't. That's okay. I respect that. It doesn't bother me one iota. If you are staunchly offended by anything I may have, may have covered. I'm doing this because I felt it would be unconscionable for me to know the things that I know now and not share that with you. As I said, I'm not backpedaling one step on my review of the Solo Stove. It's a good quality product. As is any of the products that I own that were manufactured in China, and I own several. If it's made well, I'm gonna tell you it's made well, regardless to where it's manufactured. If <laughs> it's a piece of, of doo-doo, I'm gonna tell you, this right here, don't ever buy it. It's a piece of doo-doo. It's not worth the price at any price. My, my point with all this is that I feel an obligation to you to be able to provide to you good factual information. And I failed through my ignorance with that review video and I want to make it right. I know some of my videos make, make it sound like I'm 100% I'm anti anything from China. And that, that's, that's not the case at all. There are quality made products from China. Absolutely fantastic made products from China. The Chinese people are absolutely amazing people. And to be able to do what they do on a daily basis, living in the world that they live in, it, and, you know, it breaks my heart. It really does. If you see me, you know, you know to where it appears that I am bad-mouthing China, just keep it in the back of your head that I'm not bad-mouthing quality products. I'm not bad-mouthing quality human beings. What I'm bad-mouthing is a horrific government. Folks, this is exactly why I love my subscribers commenting on my videos. Two subscribers, because of their comments, have given me a serious education. And I learned a lot. I was able to pick up a very inexpensive, very high quality piece of kit. And because of those comments on that video by my subscribers, I was able to, I'm not doing a retraction,
but I was able to bring this information to you. So if you use any of my information to purchase a piece of kit, to try a particular skill or anything else, that you get the best possible information from me that you can. And when I did my original review, I knew what I knew then. I know what I know now, and I could not let this go by without me sharing what I've learned, sharing the new product, and to just put the record straight. So with all this stuff that I threw out there today, it's up to you. If you are completely satisfied with the idea of paying a particular price to a, a company that I believed misled me as far as where it was manufactured, go for it. Absolutely go for it. It's a quality product. However, now you know that there's another product. Of course, you don't have the, the wide range of sizes and accessories all at the, the click of your mouse on one website, but you do know where you can get virtually the same product for, uh, let's say that would be $70, le no, $80 less. $80 less at their regular retail. And um, even with shipping, it was under $20. But, you know, that's, that's what the beauty of this platform is, is it's a sharing, it's a learning environment. And when we pick and choose, we watch, we pay attention, we read, we can get a lot of really great information out of this. And it's going to make our wild camping and our bushcrafting experiences much better informed, um, much wiser, much more educated, and when it gets right down to it, a lot more fun. Well, folks, <laughs> I took you on a ride with me today, and I, I hope you got something out of it. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.